Hurricane Harvey has become one of the nation's worst disasters, and the destruction and impact will be felt for years to come. The first major hurricane to make landfall in the United States since 2005 has left the southeastern part of Texas in devastation. From Corpus Christi to Houston, the never-ending rainfall and high winds have left thousands homeless or without power. The impact of this storm is it close to home for a Vikings veteran. Immediate family has been pretty good. Um, you know, we've had a lot of water down there. My property's pretty much all the way underwater except for our house and, and barn. We've got 20 horses in a seven stall barn right now. And uh, my family's pretty much locked into about a 10 mile radius. They can't get in or get out. Brother-in-law's a fireman, he can't get to work. So it's been pretty crazy down there. Family's doing good though. The Texas native takes pride in his home state, and his family is currently dealing with the massive flooding from the hurricane and tropical storm. With his wife and kids back at home, following the storm from Minnesota has made the past week even more stressful. Knowing that you know, my wife and kids are kind of stuck in a 10 mile radius, that not being able to go anywhere or anything like that. And you know, I get asked all the time, you know, why haven't I gone down there or whatever like that to be with the family? And, the fact of the matter is you can't. I mean, airports are closed. Um, even if I flew into Dallas, there's, there's probably no way that I could even get to my house to get to my family. Um, so it, it's definitely a very helpless feeling right now. It's not just his wife and kids dealing with the never-ending rain from the hurricane and tropical storm. He and his wife's families are all in Texas and dealing with the ramifications. A lot of them have been okay. A lot of them live in areas that uh, don't flood very easily. But definitely, you know, when it comes to things like being able to get out of certain areas and stuff like that, there's only so far you can go before you're pretty much locked in down there. So um, the amounts of rainfall they got down there, the amount of highways and stuff that are underwater right now, it's, it's, been, it's been pretty crazy to hear about. Texas is and always will be home for Brian and his family. And to see so many people in his home state struggling has been tough. He knows the cities and state will rebound, but it will most likely take years to recover from this tragedy. To know that those areas uh, won't be the same for a while, you know, establishments that you've been to um, probably won't be there, you know, for, for a while. And just seeing some of the pictures and stuff and knowing the amount of money that's gonna have to go in there to, to rebuild and stuff like that, it's been uh, pretty shocking. And uh, even s seeing some of the numbers that they're estimating right now um, is pretty troublesome as well. Building the great state of Texas back up and helping the city of Houston and other areas hit hard won't be easy, but multitudes of people have already jumped at the opportunity to help this part of the country get back on their feet. And the Texas native is urging anyone with a chance to think about stepping in to assist the efforts of those who are dealing with this natural disaster. I think love always conquers hate and you know, with. With a tragedy like this, you know, you see so many people step up. I know J.J. Watt's doing a, a ton of great things down there. You've had owners across the league that are doing it. Um, you've had, you know, multiple, multiple people that have really stepped up and, and uh, trying to raise money, you know, for, for Houston and the state of Texas and East Texas and stuff like that. So uh, it's always great to see love. And I, I think that's something that we're missing in, in our time right now.